Well, I think it's fine Flying jumbo plane Or itching to ride On a Kingston train Oh, hell, you know I've come a long way Changing day to day Then tell me where do the children play? Where do they play? Where do they play? Yeah, man! This is Everton Blender representing for my two cent pad class. Yeah, man, let me not tell you. With two locks, 876. Rebel! Blender says so! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Podcast. I'm your host, Tulax the 876 Rebel. And as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting, so check out that. We also offer a wide range of embroidery services. And to get more updated versions of the merchandise, you can just simply follow me on Instagram. At Twin of Twin Stolax or at Rebel 13 Collections and check out the merchandise. Choose where you want and support the movement scene because nothing can work without support. Also, remember to check out Curly Lock's book, Planet Hurt Scene, available on all digital platforms. Scene available in Jamaica, Jamaica Deals. Scene right out of Africa, across the road from Papillion. Scene also brought to you by AV Auto Body Repairs. Seen? Check them out on Instagram at AV Auto Body Repairs. Call them fully auto. Seen? And another thing I wanted to know is this. I wanted to check out Big Win, Real Friends on the Ends, Wednesday. Seen? And the next Real Friend on the Ends, of Big Win, at the 11th of August, I found. Seen? So check out Big Win on Instagram. Big, big win. Seen? If you know what I'm going to talk about, the real big win. See me I say? So big win. You know there's something going on. You see that real friend on the end something here? It's ready, you know? Alright, now I jump straight down to the show. See? Watch this. Last week, I talked about a thing concerning parental thing. Mother and father. Kids being separated. And there was something I should have did say. But I never get for record. And I'm going to say it back in this quick and fast. Because this is one of the biggest reality we are going now. All of the father of them where a witness a huge upsurge in an ungrateful picnic. Say it in the comment section. I'm going to tell you why that happened. See? That never happened by accident. It happened in a real life. See? All right, I'm going to show you something. You know what caused that? And the ladies, them still at fault. Yes, sir. See? You see, growing up a child, and every time the child check the mother upon something, and the mother keep on ask the father, ask the father, listen, of course you should have asked the father, because remember, you know, the man responsible, the man role is to take care of the child. So the, the, the child should come to them and ask so whatever they want. And the role of the father, in most cases, is just to take care of the youth. But guess what happened? These ladies take it literal. Some of them women in a give them picnic nothing. Ask your father. 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 When you beat that enough in the youth head, the father ultimately will only be seen as somebody where you go to for things. The reality becomes this for the child, and the child cannot be blamed. If you tell the child every time them need something, them for ask them father. And you never send a youth there or give the father emotional support. You never tell the youth for ask the father if him good. You never teach the youth to talk to the father otherwise from money. You know where you put in at them from this or hence with the whole heap of use of them always say a street now. You put in at them, especially the girl picking at them. Say man after money. Man after just money. Man don't need emotional support. We don't need bonding time with the kids. We don't need nothing more than the facts eh, if we just spend money. Hence why is it so much ungrateful picnic? Hence why you them hear from some of your youth them until them want 
something. So that are one of the problems too in our society we create users. We create gold digging. If the purpose of the father, especially from, from a daughter, is don't link your father unless you want something. When that daughter leave your house and start talk to man, remember them father, them first man. I mean, I talk sexual relationship. The father, the first man in a, the girl life. So if you keep on telling her, oh, your father for money, your father for money, that is why she go up with a mentality They're like men are for money, nothing else. So if you not teach your kids to support them father, otherwise they are going to grow with a mentality today. Sometimes you can't make them call them father and find out if them father good. You can imagine everybody just want from you. Just want, 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 want. Nobody gives. It's heartbreaking. Nobody no one know if where you give them out of, how you get it. If you're alright, if your back broke, if you're sick, if your head are hurt, nobody no care. Them just want to know, say, guess what? Cut that out of your society, please. With ladies, we do this. Because no fun we do it. No, 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 do it, you know. See? You know, unknowingly, most of you know, teach you know, pick me. So what a man is for is to just take care of your bills. And take care of what you need. But take care of Most of you know, don't even, worse if you know, separate it. Don't never yet tell your child or instruct your child. Say, yo, ask your father if him eat. Ask your father if him good. Ask your father how was him there. They want this, they want that, they just want all them just want. Whenever them talk, you can't have a conversation with them. You can't have a simple conversation nowadays with your youth. Them. The youth them we are growing up now, I say I'm sorry for the future, you know. A different way them are growing up because the mentality of the woman change. I talk this all the while. Remember, you know, the woman are one of the most important pieces of the puzzle in a society. Who would have never believed that? You see, if we lose the woman, we lose the world. Idiot girl, idiot world. And another problem, just a touch upon this quick and fast. And these are solutions you can fix in our society if people really want them fixed. See, this is not a blame game. Solutions we look for my answer. See? But the problem there, and if the problem, regardless of whether the problem is based on the man or the woman's side, it's still a problem. See? And it needs to sort out things like enough woman. Where you see? get superhero mother ratings um they do so at the behest of the money where the man use to take care of you you know yeah then play super mom with your money because most of them don't tell the kids when you support them financially so you do that so you will send your money to take care of your daughter or your son for years and they never for example you live a yard and the people live a foreign and these some of these women never ever Tell the children, say, yo, are your father do this, and you know, your father buy that, and you know, your father take care of this. You see me? Your father still in your life. They don't give the kids none of that impression. So society, please, make we accept good father boy and promote it. And then you're not going to see the major changes. See, things like this for take out our society. Look on this, with the big old newspaper put up. The little boy happily run home in some Jamaican homes. It, me do agree, say some. But you don't know, care, make the minority, which is negative, overrule the possibility of having great, great fathers, boy. The little boy run home and give mother happy Father's Day. The one day in the world where we get for ourselves, we don't have to ruin it. All right. I see also a woman on them social media. Happy gelding day and a post gelding chuck and all type of gelding. Right? A man who can A gelding in Jamaica for who no know is a man who can Or him not have no picnic or him, no, him can't get no picnic. These men are mercilessly mocked. Remember, you know, a man who not have no youth, it can be anything, you know. He can put the medication before getting youth. He can just organize. But remember, we never grew up in a society where we were taught to organize with life. That of his society people, them organize. Why you think you have the wishing cause and the this and the that? Organization. Not 20 picnic and 30 picnic all about the place. For proof, say, and a gelding. Me see them a post a man a gelding. All those posts, you know what I got to do? Who see them woman where complain about being single mothers? Who not encourage man when I have shit for breeding? You know? All right. Gelding chuck, right? You know, you know, laugh after the man when I'm a youth. You see, I saw a man a post them thing there too. A brag. 
We need to get rid of the brag culture of who have youth and who can't get youth as men too. Because you know where you send the look at you, them go down and pressure them brain to get youth by them reach certain age. Because they go, look away. Remember, say, as humans, we have to live up to societal norms, you know, cultural norms, you know. So if we born and that in our culture, say, so you have to get youth. By way and virtue of your culture, you have to get youth. With no plans, no nothing, no kind of direction put on for them youth. None. No. Flip the script little. Suppose some man did a post. Oh, all of the girls them were a mule. Hop on from the mule truck. You know what kind of repercussion would I get from that? You know what happened to that man? The repercussions were a swift. Not even Suzuki. The repercussion would a so bitter upon that man. But when you are gelding, everybody can run them gelding joke. And every man we are gelding, a somebody we can't get you or no want you. No, for the man them we are gelding, a man we plan them future. We decide them mind so they may come change the age old. So they may have 20 picnic and the baby mother culture. How much youth you have? One youth. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> 20 youth me have. <laughs> How much you have mine? Men like you make society see man like men on a whole. Just they have a breed girl and cut. Because when you get 20 picnic, realistically, worse if you don't have no kind of solid foundation to take care of them 20 picnic. Day. Enough of them you have to go cut left, if not all. Because of how the culture set away. So I'm going to make some changes now. We are talking about you to kill him 8 months pregnant, baby mother. Which is a shame. Which in me tired to talk to you. You have a problem with somebody. You try your best for walk away. See? But there are scenarios to these things. Alright, so for all of who might be hearing the rain dropping on the background now, we have to work with it. Alright, you are really happy. As it relates to the youth we're killing the other mother now. Wow, I'm here. here. I talk about the rumor mill and I talk about where according to credible news sources in Jamaica. See? Alright. One, rumors. The girl gave jacket. Whether the youth a jacket or not, we don't have to take them thing to them level there. So whether somebody unfaithful or not, and I'm going to try to give you somebody else pick me, this is not a reason for you. Kill them. Life can't come back when it's gone, you know. Life and not something link you and say, yo, I come link you, you know, brother. Yeah, man, tomorrow, man. I just don't make you have no life right now. I link you next weekend. And that's a life work. So, whether the woman did a get jacket or not, it is left to be said that a word I'm out. That are between them and the two of them gone. See? Now, the next thing is this. This is how the newspaper says, because this them say, happen. The youth kill him, baby mother, with eight months pregnant. And when we see the video of them, we see the crowd and they say, yo, kill him. Kill him. They were so angry, some of them not even afraid of the police. Alright, let me talk about this first. Two of the most hated group on earth. One group is a group of men. Another group, police. So you can imagine when you're a man and you're a police. It's wicked by you. No. Little after the youth reach a station. I'm showing you how people hate police. You know? Little after the youth reach a station. Couple hours after the youth reach a station. The youth dead. And everybody guess what they must say. They must say police kill the youth. So the police them go through all of that. Just secure him got a station, go kill him. That doesn't make sense. See? I'm understand the rage from the people then because things like this, nothing happen. It's sad. Them thing are a joke thing. It no matter no care where the woman do. Death are not the solution. Because most times when you no kill a woman, you no kill yourself. So if you no did not go through so much psychological trauma from whatever you no accuse she of doing, if you did brave enough to kill yourself, just go on. 
Jump on a bus there alone. You can't live. Then you make up your mind, say you can't live. You know, if you carry a radio. But here was my problem. Too long in Jamaica have we seen our family, friends, suffer from mental illness and we not pay it in the mind. Worse if they are males. See? Holy for them something ever happen. And mad people do it, you know. But guess what? Too long we see man as perfect. We're supposed to have it all together. We can't lose our mind. We do have a society where teach about mental illness. And the most dangerous mad people are the clean clothes mad people. Them. We, if you're not naked and walk on the road and you're well greasy, you're not mad. So you will still have get pussy. You will still have woman. You will still have everything that is deemed normal in a society. But the button done person I hear it already, you're gone and nobody knows. And know everybody were mad, mad the same way. You know, just get up today and buy tomorrow in the dirtiest clothes. And I say it work. You have stages of madness. Nobody looks at these things. And one of the things will perpetuate this thing. And when you have the mentality, they're like, once they're in a clean clothes, everything all right and then the mad it lead to things like this it's often too late because too much of we grew up on the notion say once a man do something he's wicked i've said this many times once a man do anything violent he's wicked but when the woman violent that is when we start search out for mental illnesses oh oh she not right it that's why she stabbed her husband 35 times oh she did a mad out when woman do not violent, it is not expected. I'm going to tell you what caused this. Woman, by nature, they are not violent. They don't solve, most times, they don't solve for them problems by violence. For them strength is to hurt you emotionally. Woman resort to spite. Them girls, like we say the worst thing, even if it include themselves looking some sort of way, they don't care as long as it hurt you. Them spiteful. Oh, you think I you brave, my daughter boy? Look, Roger, you can't my belly. It's not yours. I'm a pet, you never know me. Fuck your friend, no. You never know. Yeah. Every time you turn your back, him in here, and I'm old, yeah. And your friend breed me, so don't come hype up yourself. Like you think you can breed nobody. I should know. Say a lie, she tell upon herself, you know. Because for them only way, them, them not have a physical strength. So them try much with them that are physical with psychological damage to you, emotional damage. Them say some things for hurt you. While all we resort to most of the time are physical violence because we have the physical. And this is what most women don't know. And not every man you can run them joke with. Because sometimes the man big depends on him I got you. Him trigger off long time, you know. If him head left the world a long time, phone Mars and see if he head now. Right now. Just call any alien and ask. And see if the man the head not their Mars. Long time and say clean. That is why it always ends. The way how it always ends. With somebody dead. Ladies, stop ramping in a life. You know if you start pre and start telling yourself things. And this is who it apply to. The woman with their mouth just say anything and not any man can take it. So if you want to protect on yourself, certain things you don't say. And there are ways to leave a relationship, you know. Sometimes you just left. You know, if you tell him so you don't left, you're not, you're just missing him. Just love him. But guess what happened to you? Nothing, you know. You don't care resist the urge to hurt the man. Feelings. Because the thing said, him can't hurt you, so. And just walk away. Whether I did find a girl or whatever the case or whatever the reason why you not left, you not have to hurt him too. And in often cases, depends on when you say to the man, it always ends bad. And all the while, when the situation arises, I lie to myself and himself, you know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes when the situation arises, I chew them attack. When they say them brief for your next man, I chew. And then sometimes the reason why they lose their life are when the man do the match. And come back and realize that that's actually true. It also get violent. Me know a woman, you know, will tell me, you know. 
Say them, them dairy the next man in our me are the worst and rare. Me have my man and rare. Leave me alone and them tell me a bugger thing and me do the match. Not no sir. Them only say that for hurt you. See, and when women resort to violence, oftentimes, you know what I say? She mad. She depressed. The excuse always dead. Eh? Put on for the female them when them resort to violence. I mean, no, I cause it as what I tell you. Men are expected to just hold it up. Women are the weaker sex. So if they resort to murder, anything with them resort to, it is expected. But nobody ever sit down and thinks a man might have got through depression. He might lose his mind from when. Go one place and lost his mind and can't find it back. And nobody no question them thing here. Yeah. Remember, so when smarty mad, you know, anything with them do, them no response to that, you know. Because them now operate in a them right frame of mind. But whenever females in our society go through anything, the, the excuses that they put on for them, we need to start focus on men. Men are not perfect. Like what them teach with we're not perfect. Oh, oh, you know, for cry. Tougher than that. Mama, man, bitch, girl, pick me. All these things. We know for feel some type of way. We know for have no feelings. We weren't taught to get in touch with our emotional side. So you know what we do? We buckle it up. And see, after we buckle it up, remember every volcano of Europe, you know. All right. Buy a balloon. And blow the balloon. They blow the balloon. They blow the balloon. They blow the balloon. You talk about it, you know. You see the earring of the balloon in this case? Emotions. Pent up anger. Things most people nowadays not talk about them problem. The man I try to say something to you, you run him. You know why you're nothing for him. The only time him to talk is when you have a problem. You want to hear from him them time that you want to know why him there with the girl. You know what make me somebody so. You, you want him to talk at the time. But if him find a problem with you, worse if you're guilty, you know what talk about it. You shut him down. Most cases. And then you know where you do? Each day you shut him down, a ear you put in the balloon. And you say, the balloon boss, you know, must leave it out. As what I say, some of the men have mental problems. But none of the men don't have mental problems either. Some of them, they were just not thought. They were just not raised on how to deal with these problems. You understand that? Them grow up thinking, say, everybody and everything perfect. Life are going to go in the way how you think about it. And this is where most of the single mothers feel. You understand them? They teach them son especially. Say, yo, I know the thing going on. People are perfect. You got a woman when I want you. Enough for you to learn these things. That is why when they get a woman and tell themselves, say, me did that. Spend my money on her. And on my money, me I spend. Oh, they cheap in the left room with me. So you see, that alone is going to result. To. We don't grow up thinking so we can seek counseling. We can find somebody to talk to when they feel a certain way. We grow up. Oh, we don't have other people. And me is a boy. We. Oh, we don't, we don't to run into people, you know. We don't to this. All of them something we do to you, then we destroy them. You don't teach them to seek help. If they have a problem, ask somebody. Anybody we respect, anybody we a family member, seek somebody to talk to. Because oftentimes, when you find somebody, and you can confide in them and talk to them. You know what Problem solved. Because trust me, you know, enough that we built up with some anger, some situation, and as soon as we talk to somebody about it, we feel way better. That is the same way how crying works. I mean, I tell a man to go out, they go ball in front of people. But you have a yard, you have a house back, you have all kind of place where you can go go ball and get the frustration off of your head. Balling, relief, pressure, whether you no know one believe it or not. But most of the truth to keep it because we weren't taught to express ourselves through tears or otherwise. <laughs> Alright, mommy. Alright, that's a mother of slain woman. Happy the killer is dead. Right? But I'm going to ask you something, mommy. First of all, I'm going to say condolences. You see, nobody picked in a deserve to go out them way. I totally get it. I'm a feel a pain. I mean, know sometimes when people say certain things, they might talk from pain, but just in case you mean that statement there, eh? quick question. Three people there, there, sir. The man, the woman, and the baby in her belly. Who are we? 
So even though we in a pain sometimes, or we feel some type of way, sometimes we have to relax before we do interviews and do some things and say something we, we shouldn't even say. And another sad thing about the situation, we now to remember is that this youth was alleged to have killed her. It could have been a case where a man going to go find her body. You know? Nobody know what really happened because you know, she did and him did. So what the true story? Sometimes we jump to conclusion and we just satisfy with what we hear too much. We just jump up and him do it because guess what? The crowd didn't want him. So him automatically and him do it. It could have been a case where him going to go see her. Unless there was an eyewitness where he see when him can. Because really and truly, suppose him just got a boom and him come out of one side, for example, and him reach home now and he look him home and that. Lie down with her throat cut. Nobody know if I really him do it, you know. So we have to explore all scenarios. And me now blame the mother for, for even make that statement here. Because when we in a pain, we say all type of things. Probably me that say the same thing. Probably me that want the whole nation if a man ramped one of my opinion. Them. But how do we know beyond the shadow of a doubt? Say the youth even do it. Wasn't it an alleged killer? Which part of the statement they were say at him do it? Beyond the shadow of a doubt. So sometimes we have to just allow the Moses law something. It not always work out. Moses law. An eye for an eye. See, if we apply that to our life, after a while, the whole nation will go blind. And we all know, say, blind can lead blind. We see people, Allah said, them glad, said the youth dead. You happy, you rejoice at the death of a person. But when your mother dead, when your father dead, when your brother dead, when your cousin dead, all of a sudden, nobody not for dead. It hurt for you know, so the girl that dead that way there. But somebody agreed for the youth, you know. And as well, we said, we don't know if he had mental problems. If I him do it. And if he did have mental problems, for example, and end up with something like that, him not deserve our pity. Eh? The situation sad all around. It not sad only upon the girl's side. It's sad upon the youth side. I'm a 20. A youth that just a come out a teen, 20 year old. And none of we as parents don't know where our youth them are come do boy. Where them all get involved in or where them all get accused of. We have to just dead it. And we can't just jump to every little thing where we feel. And we can't react emotionally. But every little thing till they all like wish people for dead. How you feel happy when people dead? We lose with humanity. Nobody not sorry for nobody again. That's why everybody have video everything. Instead of save a life now, we have video. When him are dead, or she are dead, we just video it. We are the vice, not the background, we could have did save the life. But we prefer video it so we can post it. Forget social acceptance and say, you know now who post it and you just feel good in yourself. Well, last man. I don't know about Uno, but I can't see no happiness in none of this. And if you see happiness in debt of anybody at all, you're sick. You're sick. You see, if you are around with my family, self defense, I mean, I defend my family, and you did have to go out that way, fine. But for rejoice because you think, because I hear them, because of emotional attack, emotional accusation. You draw your conclusion based on where you hear, you say, I'm for dead. Suppose I did your family. I got asked again. What did your family? Me that deserve for dead? Are you the same for live? Are the same age old thing like I'm telling you? When you, when you have son, no girl can't take the son for food, but when you have daughter, you raise them for take them and feed them. Are the same thing. When you wish death upon people. Remember your thing when you call man, it's real. Anything you wish your people, it'll come right back to you. So no way I do. Alright, I'm going to talk to some of the man them now. I want to teach you something because nobody knows what happened in that situation. I'm teaching you something, brother. A relationship is not an investment. It's not. Of course, you invest time. You invest money. You invest. But don't bank on these investments. Bank on stocks. Bank on trade. Bank on your business. Invest in your business. See, oftentimes, these emotional investments lead 
to death and destruction. See? Don't bank on a girl. Don't think that people can change. You're with that woman for years and she just grow out. Vice versa too. Just grow out. And you're not nothing to them again. So guess why? Is that a good investment? No. Don't overinvest. In a no relationship. Do what you're supposed to do. But you know why somehow you know so? Emotionally destructive whenever you know hear the news that you're a woman that broke up for any reason or not. Because you know knowing yourself. So you know overinvest. You know give mama nothing but your girl good. You know mind your picnic them but your girl good. After so stop to them something here. Mind your picnic, take care of your mother, take care of your family. Do what you're supposed to do for your woman, but don't over invest. Emotional or financial. Don't over invest in a no relationship. And that is my advice to both males and females. Start go back in a relationship for the right reasons. Money should not be the forefront of any relationship. Emotional connection. That is what makes relationship last. Money are the second part. Money irrelevant to a relationship. Believe it or not. Money does make you comfortable about your money. It make you happy. So invest emotionally. If she not invest but the same emotional way to you, it not going to work. Because no amount of money where you spend, me tired to tell you no. Stop saying termite in a Western Union now waste on money. You're there foreign and think girl out there. Nice and clean and nah nobody. You're dumb. Focus. Invest in your future. Invest in your picnic. Invest in your family. Invest in a girl or a boy. That makes no sense. The only way a relationship works is emotional connection. Nothing else. No money. Nothing. You can't buy no girl. You can't buy no boy. You can't spend no amount of money to make a relationship work. See? So, I I want to you see, if you start invest in yourself emotionally and otherwise, you not going to end up like them, man. Yeah. Because guess what? Everybody has to say, a fool that him, kill himself, ray, 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 till I your time. See? Everybody always wise. Oh, the boy, they're a fool, man. Who kill, kill, him, who kill himself alone and go on about the idiot business? And ray, ray, ray. You say that now, until I your time. Till you find out that the picnic we shall carry and of you. Till you find out any other thing we can make you cheap. And you just from your life just go from zero to hundred real quick. So make we not judge. Make we encourage people, make we talk to them, make we see with family about you things and try to find out what happened to them because all the time them depressed and they not feel like so them can talk to nobody. Because they never raised. They feel like them can turn to nobody. You got your one bad experience and you discover everybody with that experience. You say, oh, humans wicked are, that man they wicked are. Everybody wicked. And you just state to yourself, these things are not encouraging emotional health. With that generation, I say, no, most people are like mad before them 20, you know, trying to keep up with the Joneses alone, trying to keep up with social norms, trying to keep up with social media hype. Enough of them are going mad before them 20. You think people did it? Make all some of them girls and change them dirty ways and stop rob people and think them entitled to people money. Use people plain and tell all a man straight in front of him face that, oh, we no business with that. Use me, use you. And think of every man. I got to take that. We need a better world, man. Come on, Jamaica. We've come to the end of another My Two Cents pod class scene. And if you don't want to be a part of the conversation, join the conversation right now in the comment section. See? And tell me what you think. Tell me your opinion. Tell me what's up. And you know how I always end the thing already. Remember, if you support the Rebel 13 clothing line, that's something they need the support. But I look on it like, oh, that dear. Because I own Black Bread Arbit. I run the support Gucci. See? I have another set of people. Oh, that too cheap. I run go support Gucci because Babylon tell us a ray. Support. Without support, that's something I can't work. You see me? So, you know the support work. If you know what my thing to keep going, you're watch all the commercial and some something. You know that's something that go already. Just do the thing to make the thing work. Like, share, subscribe, all these things. And as I say, big up every rebel. All rebel. All who agreed with me, I say, and as I say, I need more subscribers for that something I work out better. And if you know, feel some more people need to hear their message. Only need to share the thing, subscribe to the thing, see? www.rebel13.net and we deliver worldwide though.
And believe it or not, you have people, even after you say deliver worldwide, they might say if you deliver Jamaica. You see me, so yeah, man, we deliver Jamaica too. Jamaica and I world, so big up on yourself. Every supporter me ever get so far, big up. Appreciate it. So, member for link up 876 898 9388 for every merchandise. See www.rebel13.net website. Until next time, bless it.